Real car stands for recycled aluminium car and really represents a vision that started in earnest in 2008 when we started the Real Car project with Innovate UK. Real cars are part of an overall sustainability strategy at JLR. We want to make cars our customers really want, but also meet the CO2 challenge and the fuel economy challenge going forward. So, so we all had one vision on, on what we were trying to achieve, and that was to reduce the CO2 output in the manufacture of the metal, to use more secondary metal instead of more primary metal. Uh, that's a little bit easier said than done. You need metallurgists, you need chemists, you need recyclers, you need the rolling mills. So we had to get a, a number of key stakeholders involved that all brought their skills and, and their experience. Through having a balanced consortium, we're able to draw in expertise and knowledge from the different partners. Innovau specifically have a great deal of knowledge around aluminium metallurgy and aluminium processing. A further consideration within the project was to pull academia on, on board and Brunel specifically could bring expertise around evaluating next generation processing technologies. The centre of the project, Real Car, really is about materials innovation. It's about developing materials for the future. On Real Car, we developed a revised alloy we call RC5754. So Novellis is the world's largest recycler of aluminium. Um, we're a flat rolled products aluminium company. The alloy development side was working with uh, the technical uh, specialists that we have both in our company and with Jaguar to look at developing what we would call a recycling friendly alloy, that we could put more recycled content into a material that was going to be suitable for mass production of, of the Jaguar uh, vehicle. So that involved quite a lot of technical uh, work to uh, check the chemistries, check the, uh, the rolling ability of the material, make sure that it did all of the things that we needed it to do and all of the things that Jaguar also needed it to do. The second part of the, the Real Car uh, project for us was really about being more efficient in returning material back into the system, so closing the loop as we would call it. So if you want to make something with uh, increasing recycling content, you need more scrap. And one way of doing that for us was actually to look at the production processes that, that Jaguar had and with their supply chain, their press shops, looking at trying to put material back into a closed loop and bring it back into our factories for remelting. Initially we, we thought it would be looking at end of life scrap and, and pulling it back to make more alloys but, but what we found that one of the simplest steps along the way was actually to recover the press shop scrap. The principle of a closed loop starts with segregation and that must happen at source. We've invested heavily in our Castle Bromage, our Solihull and our Hellwood press shops. Real car has required um, at Halewood for us to deliver a new scrap system, a scrap system that deals with two grades of aluminium and, and steel um, uh, separately and controls those materials back to individual scrap yards um, by their own discrete conveyance routes. It's a scrap system that has involved over 1.8 kilometres of conveyor system, 47 individual conveyors all linked to give a a controlled automated collection of uh, aluminium, uh, steel and all our scrap material to um, control conveyance. The scrap is collected in the separated forms and then it's transported back to Novellis to be remelted into ingots to ultimately go on to be remade into automotive sheet. We have been working extensively with our external stampers to ensure that they can work with us. A key Contributor to that has been the Gestamp stamping facility. They're an early adopter and they really embraced the, the strategy and the approach that we wanted as part of a, a real car closed loop. Both the real car and the real car 2 projects have identified the huge opportunity that exists around the circular economy and really resource efficiency. How do we make the most of the waste streams that exist? It's critical for the future that Innovate UK continues to support in the way they have done to really maximise the benefit, not just for the UK economy, but for the global economy. Real Car was always intended to be a long-term strategic project to deliver into the vehicles of the future. And now we're in the future, and we have delivered the revised alloy into the Jaguar XC, into the Jaguar XF, and also the Jaguar F-Pace. 
the um, Performance E version of the XE is only 99 grams per kilometer. So the lowest CO2 emissions from any Jaguar and amongst the industry leaders. Um, and the fact that we can use more and more recycled metal in that car is really a signpost to the industry that says you can make exciting cars that people want, but you can also make them sustainable and make them environmentally friendly.